Hi, I'm Mark from ereplacementparts.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the drive belts on your Troy Built Pony Lawn Tractor. We'll get started by first removing the deck from the tractor. The first step in removing the deck is to lower the deck to its lowest position. Now I'll remove the belt guard. and I'll remove the belt from the pulley. Next, I'll remove the pins that secure the rear of the deck on both sides of the deck. Now I'll remove the front deck attachment point. Next, I'll remove the PTO cable. First, I remove the pin that secures it. Then I pull back on the cable. And last, remove the spring. And now I can slide the deck out from underneath the mower. Now I'll set the parking brake to release tension from the belts. Next I'll remove the battery. I'll start with the negative battery cable. And now I'll remove the positive side. There's a strap that holds the battery into the mower. I'll pull that out of the way. And now I can lift the battery out. Now I'll remove the battery cradle straps. Now I'll remove the idler spring. A trick you can use to remove a spring like this is to first wrap a piece of rope around the end of the spring. Then tie a knot on the end of the rope. Now you can use the rope like a handle to pull the spring. Like that. Next I need to remove the transmission pulley as there's not enough room between the frame and the pulley to remove the belt. To do this, I'll use a screwdriver through the pulley to lock it in place, and then I'll use a wrench to remove the nut. Then I can lift the pulley off of this spindle and remove the belt from around the pulley. Now I can remove the belt between the motor and the rear of the mower. To do that, I need to remove the pulley. I'm going to use a pipe wrench around the spindle on the pulley, and then a ratchet wrench from beneath to remove the bolt.
Now we need to pull the belt away from the variable speed pulley. You'll notice the center section of the pulley is movable. By moving that center section up, I can pull the belt away from the keepers on either side. Now I can begin reinstalling the belt between the motor and the transmission. First I'll thread it up underneath the frame so I can get it back up and around the pulleys. Now I'll thread it back onto the lower half of the variable speed pulley. Again I'll need to raise that center portion of the pulley to thread the belt around the keeper. And the same thing on the other side. Now I can replace the motor pulley. And again, I need to make sure I get the belt around the keepers, or inside of the keepers. Now I can reinstall the upper drive belt. First I'll thread it back around the transmission pulley. Once I have the belt back around the transmission pulley, I want to line up the teeth on the pulley with the teeth on the hub. And then re-secure it with the nut. Then I can thread the belt back around the top half of the variable speed pulley and back around the idler pulley. Now I'll reattach the idler tension spring. Again, I'll use my rope to pull the tension back onto the spring. the rope around the end of the spring and then pull it back through the frame. Now I'll reinstall the battery support straps. Now I can install the battery back into the mower and secure it with the strap. Now it's just a matter of reconnecting the wires. We start with the positive wire. And then the negative wire. Now we'll remount the deck. I'll start by sliding it back underneath the mower. Now I'll reinstall the PTO cable.
Next, I'll reattach the front of the deck. Next, I'll attach the rear of the deck. And that's how easy it is to replace the drive belts on a Troy Belt Pony lawn tractor. We hope you found this video helpful. Please feel free to leave a comment or ask us a question.